Welcome to Guns Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in. I'm going to do a continuation of my uh, bug out bag series, Junk on the Bunk. And the reason I'm going to bring it out into other videos is what I'm going to do is when I showed the video the other day, I had kind of a lot of things in bags. Uh, so I'm going to kind of break some things down to kind of help you guys. Uh, maybe look at some things and figure out what you want in your bag and your kits within your bug out system. So one of the most important systems or kits within your bug out system is going to be your hygiene kit. For the guys in the military, ladies in the military, you'll know you'll know the answer to this. But uh, or people that there's no people in the military. The reason that the military is so strict on hygiene and haircuts and things like that is because it cuts down on disease and sickness because you want to make sure that you're taking care of your body and you don't want to get out there in a bug out situation and start having skin problems rashes irritation stuff like that there's nothing more miserable than getting some type of rash or irritation blisters what have you just because you didn't bathe or you didn't bathe in you know a long period of time and things start getting gross and next thing you know you've got rashes and irritations in places you don't want them and they're very un they're very uncomfortable and a lot of problems so with some basic hygiene you can kind of fix some of that and i want to talk about that today in my kit so first things first uh i think one of the more important things that people leave out a lot of times is dental hygiene or oral hygiene and if you look here, I've got some basic things. I've got uh, two toothbrushes. These are the folding style that are compact. And another reason I like them, they're kind of dual purpose really uh, as far as the way they function. I don't have to have something to cover the bristle head portion to protect it. It actually folds in itself and it protects those from getting dirt and debris in them. So I like that and it's also compact. So I've got a couple of those. Notice I have two things of toothpaste here. Now your toothpaste, if you're if you're brushing if you're in a bug out situation that looks extended um and you're kind of limited on supplies you can cut back your usage on your toothpaste so and don't use it every day maybe use toothpaste and and here's the thing most people use way too much toothpaste to begin with uh you only need about the size of a pea on the on the on your uh toothbrush when you start to brush it's all you need but even with that, if you're t currently a two-day, I mean a two-time or three-time-a-day brusher currently, you need to probably multiply that times two in a bug out, uh, extended bug out. You're not sure when a dentist would be available or you could get to one. You need to constantly brush and make sure you don't have to use toothpaste every time. You can actually just use, you know, clean water and a toothbrush and scrub them out real good and rinse real good and so forth. But uh, if not, then, you know, you start using your toothpaste maybe every three days, four days, whatever, and then spray it out so you can keep your supplies uh, you know as long as you can until you can replenish uh, also you need to make sure you've got dental floss I've got a one here and this uh, can be multi-use I was going to use it for many different things because it's basically cordage, but uh, you need to make sure you're flossing. I've got a bunch of these in my hygiene kit. These actually have the dental floss, and I can use it as a toothpick. I can also use this as a tool. I've grabbed one of these many times and scraped something on my AR or cleaned up something or whatever. So you've got that. And then you can uh, make sure you're protecting your lips. This is a beeswax-style lip uh, balm. You can also get stuff with SPF with some sunscreen that's just kind of what i prefer it has a little bit of a protection to it and uh, but you need some of this just in case you, again you don't want cracked lips bleeding lips stuff like that in a bug out you want to make sure you're taking care of that um then you can buy things like this or this to throw in your bag this is breath uh, spray which is nothing more than a um a uh, uh some type of you know listerine whatever uh that this is a mouthwash and a spray uh version and this right here is in the little uh um uh, little sheets that you can eat like that that are uh you that act as a antiseptic and things like that to clean up your mouth to cut down on germs so dental hygiene very important oral hygiene is very important because you don't know you don't want to you know teeth infections and stuff like that next thing is you want to have stuff to be able to trim your fingernails toenails keep all that clean you want some uh, tweezers to make sure you can get to anything that needs to be pulled out such as a bee sting or um and, and well i say bee sting most time you want to scrape those off but if the stinger is down in there and you kind of were able to get it out and you need to pull it out that's fine ticks whatever splinters you need some nice tweezers in your kit i like to have a pair of scissors 
you just a small pair this one here is uh, capable of you know trimming up my hair if i need to cut it shorter uh whatever won't look pretty but at least be shorter and the reason the military has short hair a it's uniformity but also it's to cut down on disease and things like that uh, because they can obviously wash and dry their hair much quicker when it is short and, and so forth um Shaving's kind of optional, you know, that's kind of up to you guys. Um, I prefer to have, be able to shave because, you know, in the, in the real cold, you can start forming ice on your whiskers and things like that. So you may want to shave, you may not. That's kind of up to you, uh, but I do have it in here. Uh, your hair, you want to make sure that you uh, have a couple options for hair. I would recommend a couple style combs, depends on your hair length. Uh, some with the tighter teeth and then they get bigger uh, and then the one with bigger and the reason is because if you got long hair and you it gets tangled up and stuff like that it's gonna be really hard with a tight comb like this so you may want to start with something like this and work to a finer tooth uh, comb but just a couple of these and then I've got this brush here it's a folding style brush that pops out like that and then it also has a built-in mirror here in the top that I can use. Uh, it's just a plastic mirror. It's nothing great, um, but it is there, and it's you know it's built in, so it's a multi-purpose. I also have a metal mirror. This usually you'll find these if you can find a military supply place or something like that. It's just a, basically a metal mirror. It's dual functional. Obviously, I can use it for you know hygiene. I can use it to look at things. I can use it to signal what have you. Um, soap. You need at least a few things of soap and uh, what I do is I like liquid soap because if you take liquid soap and you use a sponge you can really get a lot of foaming action and get really clean with that and I've got that I showed this before uh, and I've done a separate video completely on sponges one of the ones for uh, the forgot about things that need to go in a bug out bag and this kind of goes in with my this is separate it doesn't go in my hygiene kit but it is part of my hygiene kit because it, it's actually used for you know cleaning up camp as far as kitchen you know stuff cooking but it also has some sponges washcloths things like that in this uh, ziploc bag here and it also has a chamois cloth for drying um you need some kind of powder. I prefer just a Gold Bond medicated that's a body powder because you don't want chafing and stuff like that. Uh, back, uh, you know, my grandfather used to say uh, he got gouted, uh, which means you got raw between your legs. And it's very painful, especially if you're trying to, you know, hump or march or go out a long distance on uh, uh, a scout or a uh, hike it can get very painful so you need to make sure that you are you know have some kind of small bottle of uh, some type of body powder talcum powder stuff like that that you can put uh, in your growing area under your arms places like that that you could get uh, chafing and and so forth where there's friction or even in your uh, socks to keep your feet dry so you at least need one thing of powder I've got a little thing of uh, moisturizer lotion just to keep your skin nice and, uh, you know, keep from getting dried out and things like that. Because dry skin can cause issues as far as it start getting cracking and so forth. Uh, at least one thing of deodorant I recommend. You know, that one's a small one. These Most of this is travel size. All this can be bought at usually the Dollar Store, Dollar Tree, Walmart, things like that. Um, also your ears now there's controversy a lot of doctors now say you don't need to clean your ears with q-tips and they don't recommend it at all because the wax actually helps your ear uh, from infections and things like that so but I do have some in here and the reason is is because I can use this for multiple things I can use it for obviously just a fire starter if I wanted to but I've got things to do that but I could use this to like to help get things out of my eye that's maybe gotten a piece of trash or something so there there you can use them in first aid so there's a lot of uses for these so I just have them in this little ziploc bag um, to have that now I showed this before and it's a metal flask and I actually have soap in it and I've got these couple little travel size and I have this thing here full of soap and what I did was I kind of made my own mixture so I wanted something a little stronger than a body soap so what I did was I mixed half a body soap and half Dawn dishwashing liquid so it's multi-purpose soap I would probably use it more for cleanup and, sh and bathing more so than shampoo but I mean it could be used for that um, 
also has something like this, and I've shown this uh, other ones, but this right here is an SPF 30. It's just a little small one. I just keep it in here because it fits. Um, I've got a sewing kit in there. Now, this right here is what I'll consider a separate kit, but I do have a uh, sewing kit and repair kit specifically for clothing and, and so forth that will actually go in my um, uh, kit. It actually goes in here uh, with the, my hygiene. But anyway, guys, wanted to uh, just kind of let you see what I carry and what I recommend that make sure you're taking care of your body because that's going to be some issues if you don't. But anyway, guys, appreciate you tuning in today. If you have any questions, post those below. If you have any suggestions, maybe something I missed or something that you think would work a little better or something, be sure, share it with us. I'd like to hear from you. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up down there in that section below. It's always appreciative. As always, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll bring another video shortly. Have a great day, guys.